the problem is, is like people don't want to change. They like to lean on what they're comfortable with and change is uncomfortable. It's different. It requires often, you know, for a lot of guys, it requires something that looks like work, you know, it's stress and overalls and it looks like work and that's hard for them because they don't like to do that. Um, so there's, you know, there's a lot of components that are tied into that. Yeah. How, how would you, do you have any like methods or systems or sort of questions about how you would help someone actually unlock unlock that and get over it? Yeah. I usually, I usually start asking questions about, you know, why they, you know, believe certain things. So why do you think that's true? You know, like, why do you think that that would serve you? Like, why would that work? You know, sort of thing. And then you offer them an alternate, you know, reality, which I think it's easier with guys. Like my preference is dealing with guys because they're more logical and rational. So I can say, look, you know, this is a broken belief. It clearly doesn't serve you. I mean, you ask some questions like, well, how's that working out for you? Well, it's not, it's not, it's clearly not working because I'm talking to you today, Rich. Okay. Well, so we both agree that that's a broken belief, right? Well, what about this one over here? What about option B? Because option B connects to these types of results. So can we adopt option B as a new belief, you know, to view, to use that as a lens in which to view that problem with, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I get, I get what you're saying. And like, I'd love to, what was like your experience with overcoming like your own beliefs? Did you, ha did you have to, did it like, how did you start figuring them out? Was there certain things you read 